We're hearing from the new CEO of the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium about the fallout after the Association of Zoos and Aquariums had denied the Columbus Zoo's appeal to get back its accreditation. Now, the reasons behind that decision include misuse of funds and the conservation game documentary that accused Jack Hanna of using animals from unaccredited breeders to appear on late night television shows. 10 TV's Clay Gordon has more, including why, despite the setback, the new CEO remains optimistic about the zoo's future. Columbus Zoo and Aquarium's new president and CEO addressing the controversies he has now acquired misuse of funds and practices of acquiring certain animals. The AZA, a lot of the documents have been private. Is there anything that you could share with us, be a little bit more transparent with some of those details that maybe the public doesn't know about involving some of these allegations? Yeah, and unfortunately, they, they don't even share that much with us. So they were, they were pretty clear on some of the issues that are the major issues that caused them to agree with the commission's decision to deny. One clearly was the acquisition and disposition policy, the, the, the financial uh, transactions that took place that shouldn't have, the illegal activity. Was the Columbus Zoo involved in the big cat trade? You ask about our involvement with the big cat trade and, and, and really uh, specifically it, uh, there, were, there were roughly a handful of times that that we know that that uh, our outreach animals were were obtained from uh, institutions that that don't meet our standards. So if you look at the collection animal, the you know 99.9% .9 of the eight or nine thousand animals that we have, you know it wasn't an issue, but it was an issue with with a few of the cats. And despite these controversies, Schmidt tells me he's ready to take on these new challenges. Well, how do you uh, get past some of these allegations? Yeah, well, I think it's going to take some time. You know, what I've told uh, our community and, and our board is that, you know, trust is important, but now is the time for trust and verify. And so I'm, I'm going to be very closely scrutinized, and I welcome that. I think that's how we build that trust back. So it's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of communication from me, and our actions are going to really have to, to, to speak louder than our words. At the Columbus Zoo, Clay Gordon, 10 TV News. Well, Schmidt says nothing will change from the guests and animal care perspectives. He was unable to say if any animals will be transferred to other institutions as a result of this week's decision.